Hi, welcome to Robin's Roost. So today I'm going to be showing you um, a technique using the deckled circle, circles dies. Oh, excuse me. And um, any circle die will work, but the deckled ones are super fun. It's called a rocker card. So this card will actually rock back and forth when you set it down. And it's just various sizes of die cuts. And you can, you can use whichever sizes works for what you're doing. Um, I'll tell you what I used on this one and you know you can go from there to resize it however you like. Now I've also pulled in some um, designer series paper. The little bird is actually cut out of the uh, designer series paper and th this background piece is designer series paper that are from the celebration um, catalog. So this paper was free with a $50 order it is called Flight and Airy and super pretty. But, you know, like I said, you could mix, mix and match any colors or sizes you want. I just wanted to show you this cool technique for making a fun card. So let's flip the camera and we'll get started. So the star of this show are the, um, the deckled circle dies. Now they were available in the... Um, September to December mini catalog, but luckily they are now in the online um, only section um, if you look on the online store. So they are still available. Hopefully will be available for a long time to come. So there are 14 of these babies. So it gives you lots of um, options for layering sizes. Now I wanted to show you the first card that I designed using this used the largest circle um, for the base of the card and it does fit in an envelope barely if you're really careful so um, if you tuck it in you'll see it'll it, it you know you kind of gotta gucci it around a little bit it will fit so for the card that I'm making today I went down um, to the second largest one and Let's just tuck it in. You can see that it's it's an easier fit and I'm actually sending these out as swap cards and I'm going to put two cards in the envelope so I, I wanted it not to be like right to the end. So that's why we went with a I went with the next size down. Now I will um the the base is about five and three eighths, which I said was the second largest. And then you're going to cut some designer series paper with the fifth largest, and that's about four and a quarter. And you're also going to need a, a white um, circle of the same size. You're going to cut that in half, and it's going to be your liner for the inside of the card. And then we're going to need um, another contrasting color of uh, cardstock, and this is the three and a quarter inch um, size die which is the eighth largest and then we have um, another uh, to match the base color and this of course is the bubble bath this one is two and seven eighths and it's the ninth largest die and then we have a white layer for a greeting and that one is the 11th largest die, and it's two and an eighth. So you don't have to use these same sizes, but if you wanted to, I'm just giving you some starting points so you kind of know um, where your sizes are going to fall. So I'm going to pull in my trimmer. And because I'm making a bunch of these, and I'm horrible with eighths, I've actually made myself a little note that I need to score the base at 2 and 11 sixteenths. And then I stuck my sticky um, note on here at 2 and 11 sixteenths. Because once you get the, um, once you get this circle on here and there's no line, it's really hard to tell where that is. So then I can just kind of butt it up here and it's not exact because you've got the little deckle edge, but, but you'll get it pretty darn close. And then I'm just going to score that. 
And then I gave myself another note here. My, um, my white liner gets cut and my DSP gets scored at two and an eighth. So I'm just gonna take another sticky note, bump it up against there, and then I can go ahead and score this. And the ones that have the birds on it are a little tricky because they end up being upside down or underneath your um, underneath your your image, right? So I kind of didn't try to get them in here at all because it just doesn't really work to use them for, you know, oh, they're pretty. But we'll just go ahead and score that. Those are going to get layered. And then we have to cut our white one in half at that same point. So this one we're going to cut, and you always have to be really careful when you're cutting and scoring. You know, score, cut, keep that straight. I'm doing a stack of them. I'm actually going to do all the cutting and then all the scoring. But I just wanted to show you um, my little trick for lining those up. So then I have my, um, my bone folder. Oh, and I grabbed my ickiest one I have. I bought new ones, so I wouldn't have to use that icky one, but it's the one I always grab, especially for a video, right? So we're just going to go ahead and score these and burnish them a little bit. So I'm going to be using liquid glue. And you can... Um, you know, do the whole thing at once or half, however you like to do it. I have a hard time getting this um, so it doesn't, let's see, I'm going to flip it this way because it's not quite even and I want in the front to be even. So there we've got that all down and maybe we'll do our stamp in here next. So <clears throat> the inside is going to get kind of tucked right up into the fold and then we have our greeting that's going to go on here. Now I have already fussy cut a whole bunch of these little birds. The flight and airy um, designer series paper It is really really nice. You're going to love this paper. Um, Especially it's when it's free. So I'm also using the um, Softly Sophisticated stamp set on here, which is a hundred dollar level celebration. Um, and it comes with a embossing folder, which um, I don't have right here. It's across the room, but you can see it's kind of like a woven dots. I really like it. It goes, goes really well together and I'm loving this embossing folder. So I've already embossed all these. Oh, I know what else I wanted to show you. I kind of wanted to, um, to do a little edging on these. So I'm using the Bubble Bath ink. And we'll just, uh, oh, I got all kinds of these laying around now, don't I? My goodness. Okay, so I just want to give it just a little bit on the edge to make it, um, kind of give it a little bit of dimension and stand out. It's tricky only to get the edge, but we're going to do that. And then I want this white piece. Let's see if we can try this white one too. Let's just give it a little edge with the bubble bath. And then this white one here, I want to do with the um, Misty Moonlight, which is the color that I'm going to do for the greetings. Give it a little bit of a sky feel. It's really easy when you're doing this to get, um, to get the ink 
onto the paper and I just want it on the very edge. Okay, that one worked out. They didn't all work out that well. Oh, let's see, let's do our stamping. So we have the inside greeting, which is the, um, you're in my thoughts. And then on the outside, we have a little bit more to do on there, but let's get this one. So depending on which bird you have, you need to kind of place your um, hello there by, by the bird, right? By the bird, does that make sense? So you decide where you're gonna have your bird and he can hang off, you know, a little bit if you want, if you want it right above. I like things kind of kitty wonkus. So I'm gonna put mine, um, my hello there is going to be at a little bit of an angle. And then we're also going to put some greenery on the inside here. So let's grab the garden green, my trusty old garden green. You can tell this one's been around for a long time. It's the old style. And we've got a two-step stamp here for this one. So we're just going to do that. And then we're going to pull in some bubble bath ink for our, our pretty flowers. And for this two-stepper, I found it easiest to try to line up the little bud as you can see the um, the greenery for that low rose bud or whatever they are they kind of look like wild roses and then the big ones kind of go in that empty space super pretty stamp set so that's all of our stamping we can put our ink away and we're done so then we can go ahead and layer everything up It takes a bit of time for all the um, die cutting, but other than that, this card falls together pretty easily. And then I am not going to add any dimensionals to anything, but of course you could if you wanted to. Let's see, how did I have him on here? I had him a little crooked, didn't I? Because it's uh, going in the mail with another card, I don't want it to be super thick. But it would look really pretty with, with some dimension in there as well if you're going to um, be hand gifting this card. Now, for placement on here, this one I think we're pretty safe just putting it so it looks aligned. But if you're using the larger um, die to start with, you might want to set it in your envelope just to be sure that you aren't getting bigger than your envelope. I, you know, even this one is probably best to do that so that you can be sure that you are um, fitting in your envelope. Now, let's see. I want his feet down, so there's down. And remember, you only want to put adhesive on the bottom because it's hanging over on the top. And then there's some really pretty little um, sequins. Let me grab them. So I have some of the um, pastel adhesive backed sequins, and we've got three choices on colors and two choices for sizes. So we've got um, got some options here. Now I'm thinking either the pink or the blue. I think maybe the blue ones. Uh, now I got them stuck. Okay, so let's just. Um, 
you know, we could put them, I think I want them in the white part. Oops. So there. Isn't that cool? It's kind of hard to show um, how it rocks, but it will actually rock. I think this would be really cute too with the um, with the jungle pals. I think is the name of them. They're in the celebration catalog, and there's an alligator, and a tiger, and a couple of other jungle animals, and a totally different color scheme and and uh, background, but. I could see that being a really cute rocker card for a little kid, maybe like a, a three-year-old or something. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this, um, this card pattern and have some fun with it. And thanks for stopping by at the Roost. Have a great day.